Hey, this is Travis the Tau Templar with Tau Stats. We're going to go over what alpha tokens are, how to get them, how to use them, the risks, and the network benefits. Each subnet has its own unique token internal to BitTensor. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, etc. After all the Greek letters are exhausted, we'll move to the Hebrew alphabet, then Arabic, etc. We refer to these tokens generically as the subnet's alpha token. Alpha tokens are used to help the network determine which subnets are the most valuable. This means that staking to a subnet is akin to a democratic vote. If you hold an alpha token, you believe that that subnet has more value than other subnets. Subnets are numbered. For example, I might say that I have alpha or stake in subnet 21, 64, and 245. However, some subnets may prefer to use their subnets associated Greek, Hebrew, Arabic, etc. letters. Each subnet's alpha token has a price in tau that is determined by the market. You'll receive dividends in alpha according to how much alpha you hold. So you can think of alpha as shares in a subnet. You can also think of alpha as staked tokens for a subnet. Remember, before Dynamic Tau, participants got paid for their contributions in Tau. Now that every subnet has its own alpha token, miners, validators, subnet owners, and stakers are now paid in alpha for each subnet they're operating in. Alpha tokens can be exchanged for Tau for participants that want to cash out or pay their costs in fiat currency. Just like Tau, each subnet's alpha tokens have a limited supply of 21 million. Each subnet has their own four-year emission halvening schedule starting when the subnet was created, with the exception of the original 64 subnets, whose halvening schedule started on the day the dynamic Tau upgrade went live, February 13th, 2025. Alpha for a subnet is purchased via its subnet pool. Subnet pools are essentially a decentralized exchange where Tau is the base token used for purchasing alpha. See our subnet pools video for more information about how subnet pools work. You can easily stake through taustats.io, link in the description. There are only two states or places where alpha exists, either in a subnet pool or in a wallet staked to a validator. Alpha cannot be in a state where it's in a wallet and not staked to a validator. Your alpha retains the same value regardless of which validator you choose, but your APR is affected by the performance of the validator you pick. So when you go to purchase alpha, you'll be prompted to choose which subnet, how much alpha, and which validator to stake your alpha with. While alpha is in your wallet staked to a validator, you will receive dividends in that alpha token. By default, you can only do two things with your alpha. It can be traded for tau at the current market rate via a subnet pool, or it can be staked to a different validator. By default, you cannot send alpha to another wallet. So there's only one way to buy or sell alpha for a subnet. You must go through its subnet pool. What we've explained here is true of the native substrate BitTensor blockchain, but may be expanded upon from EVM. EVM expands BitTensor's capabilities by allowing smart contracts, allowing for developers to expand upon the base substrate BitTensor blockchain. It's possible that we might see wrapped subnet tokens or other fancy products as developers continue to contribute to BitTensor. Owning alpha comes with two layers of risk. Number one, when the price of tau goes down in US dollars, the price of your subnet's alpha token also goes down in US dollars. And then number two, if your subnet performs poorly, its alpha price will go down relative to tau and therefore in US dollars as well. So investors that hold alpha are saying two things. They believe in BitTensor and they believe in a BitTensor subnet. If you aren't convinced about either BitTensor's value or the subnet's value, it's probably best to do more research or stay away from alpha tokens. Alpha investors engage in high-risk, high-reward trading. 
They strongly contribute to the BitTensor network by helping suss out the subnets that provide the most value to BitTensor and Tau. If you aren't looking for that increased risk but understand BitTensor, you can simply hold and stake Tau on subnet 0 for lower risk. Alpha staking allows stakers to increase their rewards by positively contributing to the network, a revolutionary way to allow stakers to contribute to the BitTensor network. By purchasing alpha in a subnet, you're showing support for that subnet, but you're also slightly increasing the value of that subnet's alpha token. Since miners, validators, subnet owners, and stakers are all paid in alpha tokens, when you buy an alpha token in a subnet and cause the alpha token's price to increase, you're directly causing that subnet's participants to be paid more, thereby encouraging their work and signaling to the BitTensor market that you think this subnet is more valuable. BitTensor is a decentralized commodity marketplace, and the price of alpha represents the value of each commodity.